Welcome back to the Building an Asset Services Client Web Portal. In this video, we'll begin by looking at how to raise a new work request, followed by how to review your customer job statements. One of the main features of our portal is the ability to raise work requests directly from your account. To do this, select Create Work Request from the left-hand navigation menu. This will open a blank work request screen. You'll notice some fields are marked by a red asterisk. These fields are mandatory. Your reference number is a free text field where you can enter your own reference number for this particular request. The Work Request Type drop-down allows you to select the type of work which is required. The Work Summary field is where you can provide a brief description of the work required. Be descriptive but concise, as this field allows for a maximum of 80 characters only. Any further information can go into the Additional Information field. The more detail you provide here, the easier it will be for us to process your request. Enter your asset reference number into the asset reference number field. This number helps identify the asset. WIC numbers or SAP identifiers are most useful here. A description of the asset, for example a building number or street address, will also help with identification. The next step is to select your program code. The program code relates to your funding source. This will provide clear direction to building an asset services as to which program your requested work will be built from. The activity drop-down allows you to select the type of work that is required. If your request is for responsive maintenance, then you can also select a response priority from the priority drop-down menu. Using the on-screen calendar, select a date in which the work is required to be completed by. Next, select the relevant building and asset services region in which the work is required. If applicable, you may also provide us with a purchase order number and item number. Finally, you can enter the name and number of the person who would be the best contact should building and asset services wish to clarify any of the above information. Once you are ready to raise your request, select the Send option from the top right hand navigation menu. Once your request has successfully been received by Building and Asset Services and a new work request has been generated, the Building and Asset Services work request number will appear on the copy of your work request in your Sent folder. From here, you can also select the Create Copy option from the top right-hand navigation menu. This will open a new work request form pre-populated with the information from your previous request. Once the work has been completed, you will be provided with a Building and Asset Services customer job statement. New job statements will be sent to your web portal account inbox. The job statement provides information such as a summary of the work which was completed and the total price being charged. A more detailed overview of your job statement can be generated by selecting Print. You may also choose to accept or reject your customer job statement from this screen, as well as add any remarks to your response. If you have selected to reject your job statement, a Building and Asset Services representative will be in contact with you to discuss your concerns. If no response has been received within seven days, Building and Asset Services will assume acceptance of the work and commence with billing processes. This concludes the overview of raising new work requests and reviewing your customer job statements.